Welcome back to Post and Pilots. Let's play some more Europe on Universalis 4. We're playing as Genoa. We're going for our custom achievement on this competition. All we have to do is to grab Alvinia and not lose grasp on the most powerful trade in the world, being Genoa at all times and places. Well, one place, Genoa, but at all times. <laughs> Uh, that um, stipulation, that particular stipulation started in 1500, I remember, so we had to get it to be the most powerful trade node in 1500 and keep it there since then. And we have done so with not too much trouble after the first couple of um, years. In the beginning it seemed like a bit of a challenge, but it stopped being that relatively quickly. Once we got that expansion going. And yeah, it seems like we'll be quite able to manage. We are, as you can see, at a war. We are at war with Austria mainly, who does not put up too much of a fight here. And uh, with the Mamluk secondary, because they're allied to the Austrians, the filthy people. And I mean, yeah. Both the Austrians are filthy people and <laughs> the Mamluks are filthy people for allying the Austrians. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick by that statement. Mm, I have a few miners here that we might be too, able to crush for some extra quick war score gains. Maybe we can just go to those zwei Brücken and maybe Breisgau and just crush those down. Seems like a plan. We're in a bit of a timer ish. Because I don't know whether I can do Scootage Talk laying while at war, and my subjects are about to be annexed, well, two of them, and I want them to all be annexed at the same time. We roughly managed to time them, but um, it was quite a long, well, long distance in time, I suppose, that we had to plan over and uh, things happen in between and stuff, so. The timing isn't perfect, but it's pretty close and we should be able to deal with the rest through talking scootage. We might just be able to brute force our way through it, but we only have access to four Diplo Reputation at this point in time. And that is when we don't have overextension, which after a war like this we will have. And uh, if we annex a subject, we get a debuff of minus three Diplo rep. So we'd essentially not be annexing anymore for a while if we do that. So it seems really important to try to get them to be annexed all at the same time, or at least super close together. Sank the Mamlukian flagship, good. I mean, I'll take some prestige. And I'm happy to take stuff away from the Mamluks. It does make me happy. And there are those vile pirates of Tunis. Didn't we know that the stay would come? We did know. Uh, you want to join in there. Why don't you just join in there? And then I'll try and... Uh, maybe, but probably not, manage to protect the rest of my coast from those pirates. I'd probably be too late. Uh, I have done this before, haven't I? Let's do this again once I'm in Cape Bon. I stop your stuff. I grab, I don't know, a quarter of you. You guys go back to making money. And you hunt those freaking pirates for now. Could have done that at the start of the war. Then we would never have anything raided. Well, what did they just raid? Did they just raid Albenka or did they raid Tyrone? I mean, a cheesy. Don't quite remember because we're not protecting a cheesy but we are generally protecting tyrone this is oh, going okay speed wise there's nothing to see over here my subjects don't take part in this we have a huge coalition in the east against us but as long as they don't fire during this war they will probably quickly disperse afterwards because they really don't have a chance and the only reason they are willing to coalition me at all is that we look weak to them right now because we have so many enemies in this war. And, uh, my Count Worthy friends are taking 
Well, quite ambitious battles from time to time here. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but they seem to be leveraging the morale advantage into something kind of working. Okay, I think the Mamlukian fleet is no more. I will have you hunt parts in Genoa. And I'll have you repair damage ships. Uh, oh, their inns has been occupied by Genoa. Good. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's buy individual war score against Mr. M here. How do they look? 77%. That might already be the piece that we need. This is going to be a bit painful to do. Yeah, not quite. But very close. The reason I want to take this land is that we want to connect up all our holdings. I could take Aswan here. We're still a bit, a few techs away from building the canal though. I don't think that I need to take Aswan just yet. Yeah, it's like tech 22, I think they can build the Suez Canal and I'm at tech 18. So I have admin lying around in spades. But it is only five development. Might be nice to take us one. Just so we have it for when um, we do want to build that canal and are not like, forced to do another war just to be able to build the canal. Any other places that seem highly relevant? I don't think so, no. I mean, sure, taking the Fort Ditch head and all that, but that's. Nah. No, that's particularly relevant here. No. There's no straight. I was thinking whether it was a straight to Rodos. And that with the island hopping simulation, I should try to not have the land connection there. But there's no land connection. So there's nothing wrong or well, nothing there I can fix. Rodos is an island. If, an, if, if I'm allowed to have Rodos, then I would always be island hopping to be there. Now, all we need to do is take Al Karak. If that siege happens, then this is over, I think. It's a rough guesstimate, but it's not an uneducated guess. Because I'm not an uneducated man. <laughs> what a stupid thing to say. Um, I could try to speed this whole thing up here. Get you maybe into Darna. Hmm, oh, Benghazi actually. Uh, maybe Darna would have been... Yeah, stay in Darna. Don't know if this actually adds much to speed, but boats do seem to be faster than troops. And I might be able to save a bit of time and just hopping into like Alexandria here. It might not be relevant at all. You onto a boat. So right now you would take what? But tell me how much time you would take to Alexandria. Uh, we to Alexandria and we'll be there in December, 9th of December 36. Put you on a boat. With you in there. 15th of November. Saving a whole month. Boat's good. It's rare that you can use them this way. But sometimes... Uh, be surprised. By what? I don't know. But you might be surprised. <laughs> Just don't... Ooh. That Siege of Damascus is not looking great. I don't want them to win the Siege of Damascus before I get Al Karak. I mean, we're still ahead in the Siege race, but we both have percentage chances to just get it now. And there's Al Karak. Okay. I assume that's peace. No. A 
super close to peace, but it's not actually peace. Can I do anything to just generate a tiny bit of war score right now? Yes. And we won the Siege of Zwei Brücken, but that's not going to change anything in the Mamlukian separate piece. It's good for the overall war, but not, in fact, for this. But getting those boats out might have changed your willingness. No. Split you in half. Blockades do give a tiny bit of war score, and they also reduce the war enthusiasm of our enemy. Okay, they didn't take this at 14%. I think we have the time. And this monthly tick might even already have been enough. No, 122. We need one more point. Which this battle surely will provide. Battle of something. Chaumft. Keep generating that war score. Keep looking at our annexation timers. I think we'll be quite fine. Take Intal for me, take that place for me, and pop these folks. 0.36 war score, good enough, good enough. Uh, wrong piece there. Good enough though, by quite a bit. Might have reduced their military strength as well, so. We got a war score and comparatively they got more, uh, worse and we're besieging. No, we're not besieging another province. Anyway, we can take this. We take not too much of our extension. That's good because we still want to take all that other land. We're allowing Bengal to stay in the coalition, potentially adding Jampur. It's December. Let's be, can I afford, how much time do I have on this thing? When does this end? Um, 16 days, that should be fine. I want a piece out on like the 30th of December. So we don't get even more people into the coalition. Just, just do diligence, I think. Hmm. I mean, I can't just do this. They're not running. Do I want to do this? Sure. I mean, my piece out before they arrive. But I don't want to buy you Contrary Venice. Don't really need them. I actually that was a mistake. <laughs> Didn't realize we would be arriving on the thirty first. Now they probably won't piece out because of ongoing battles. Yeah, now we have to fight the battle, and we might actually lose it. I mean, probably not. But I did see another. Big backup set. Ah, oh, no, they're not coming in. Fine. Threw some manpower at it that we didn't need to. But there we go. Now, give me that piece to you. Ah, but that's, it's fine. No, it's not fine. We should. No, it is fine. <laughs> it's not fine. It is fine. It's not fine. Uh, we didn't need to do it on the gender and the December tick because the people we care about are already ticking down anyway. So we didn't waste any. A E tick down, I don't think. Yeah. My mouth was off though, way off. I mean, I just brain farted, I suppose. Uh, we're still getting Jompur and Bengal back on the list. It's fine. I mean, Austria will do that anyway, I think. Maybe not, might be far enough away. Now, what does this say? Do we have more room now? We do have a bit more room, not quite for war reps. But we can take a few, hmm, nice, uh, can take a few ducats just to increase the the peace timer here, because coalitions are still a thing, even if we're not super afraid of them. So give me the stuff. Yes. Yes, yes. Core the stuff. Get the home to proper owned territory. Get Yada here, you can just stay in Damascus. One of you is a mercenary band? You are. Okay, that seems fine. You join me here, sure. 
you get over there, Alexandria will be your new home for a moment, from which you can put some boots onto these Mamluks. And it will help these Mamluks if they were allowed to all be in my trade company, so they don't care about religion so much. I don't want a condutary. No. Only 50% was going. Ah, oh, the stupid British, right. How's Ulmit medium? Wait, no, that's not. They only have the one province. How are you at medium? I don't think the Ulmian war enthusiasm matters for piecing out the Austrians. So I think that's fine. But I'm still wondering how they're possibly still enthusiastic about this war when their home is fully besieged. It doesn't doesn't seem reasonable. Military acts from the three leagues, sure. Come on in three leagues. Four if you want. Mm -hmm. You're leaving Damascus. Good, good, good. You're being in Damascus. Also good, good, good. Um, don't think I need you to suppress anything. I don't need you to build a supply depot. So I just have you drill, baby. Sure. Why not? Get me some of that professionalism we've been lacking for so long. <laughs> with our reliance on mercenaries and all that. Uh, the Palatinate one's out, I don't understand why. Genoa occupied Intal. Colonialism in... How is Homs a colony? Take colony homes in Asia from the Mamluks. How is this a colony? <laughs> it goes to ours? We don't have colonies. We're not allowed to have colonies. What the heck game? <laughs> I'm confused. Is it because I split them off here? Well, it's still called Mamluk. It's not called Mamluk in Arabia or anything. That's Mamluk in Anatolia. That would already have been split off. No, that doesn't make... I don't know why I just got colonialism cards belly against any of these. Do you have colonies? Do you actually have colonies? I don't think you have colonial ideas, do you? Mr. M? No. <laughs> and the Mamluken traditions don't give a colonist. <laughs> sure. We have colonialism. <laughs> could I actually declare for colonialism on Naples? No, I'm not going to do it, but yeah. Could take the Bakht. But only the Bakht, which I assume is this place, yeah. If you have an explanation for that, I would be uh, quite interested in that. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, because what the freak nuggets? Hmm. Uh, these sieges should generate a whole bejesus of war score. I don't know why I called it a bejesus, that doesn't make any sense. But I've never been about sense, have I? Merge, detach, siege. You don't have any cannons, but you can get it started, and then maybe somebody else can continue. And occupation helps with piecing out. All right, Suez is also. There. I called it as one before. Is that just wrong? Is as he waste to Suez? It probably is. As one is down here, yeah. Hmm. Oh well. 
close. Somewhere in Egypt, you know. <laughs> uh, Portugal attacking Mutapa. How interesting and quaint. Now let's have a quick look at a piece deal because timer is ticking. Although we probably slowed it down a bit by taking land. I'm getting overextended a bit. So for peace, what would I want? I wanted you. And then either Gertz or Unterkärnten and then... Okay, that's kind of it, right? <laughs> All I need for a connection here is Gertz and then Venetian land. Or we try to do the reach around, which seems not great. The thing is the Venice, uh, Venice trade note does nothing for me, while the Vienna trade note actually does. It's not like the easiest way to get into Genoa. <laughs> it's not like we have tons of trade power on the way, but it does something. And Vienna does nothing. These are Italian provinces, which we could take for forming Italy, but we said we're not going to do that because we don't want to be a monarchy. Hmm. What are these places? Oh, Gertz is a nice place. With that iron. Well, oh, then again. <laughs> Unterkärnten and Oberkärnten are also all iron. And then so is Lienz. And Welsh Tyrols. And then the gold mine over there. Hmm. And this is probably not a piece that we can really do. Oh, but it's very close. If we had to do this, nobody would care. Now, the disadvantage of this is that. I guess technically it would connect. There's a connection between Friuli and Oberkärnten, isn't there? <laughs> Is that a bit border gory? Maybe. But. Let me see, do I have troops around here? You. Can you go like that? You just want to know if that's a connect, but it, it is, right? There's no, um, the Alps are not in between here. Yeah, this is the Alps connection. This is the Friuli connection. Okay, so we could do this. Get our connection once we deal with the Venetians, not care about Gertz or Trieste. And be fine. We could obviously alternatively just take Gertz and Trieste. And have the same connection, or even just Gertz. Um, if we take Gertz and Trieste, then the Austrians have no more navy, no more ports. Not that we care much. Sorry for that. It would look a bit less border gory. You have to do this, right? And then if we have any spare, what I should probably actually be doing is consider any spare um, AE I have here and take Ragusan provinces instead, right? Because they matter. So we take Train and Gertz, so we have a connection. We don't even take Trieste, because we don't need it right now. And then we look for something nice here, like Hum. Or... Mm, those salt mines. Cloth and Angram. the cloth of the salt, right? 
sound like really expensive right oops really expensive right now nah it's okay expensive but cloth is better and this is a fort i actually like taking the fort and engram so we take that and then Even Varast as well. Where to take something like Pudringi, what people start to care? Naples a tiny bit. I don't want to wait until the end of the year here. I don't really like the idea of Naples potentially joining that alliance in India. Yeah, maybe we just need to not be super greedy here. You know, it breaks my heart. Um, six development though. How's that Serbian math? I find the right tooltip here. What was my calculation? It's about six Diplo points per development I'm paying right now. I have to double check that if I actually decide, but let's assume it's six ish. And we do four a month. If I were to give you Podringe here, that would be another 24 points then. 24 points, which you're lacking 70 points, while Iraq is lacking way more, right? 172. Right? I think I can just give Serbia Podrinche. Oh, which they don't have a claim on. I thought I'd... No, I didn't ask them to make claims. Hmm. I believe in that case it doesn't matter, does it? I might still want to give them land so I don't have to do scooter toggling with them. Just have to be very, very careful, do my math correctly. Oh, so this is a... No, I'm not going to do it. I'm sure Podrinje is an empire province, isn't it? Is it somewhere in this list? Surely it must be. What about name, please? And it's not an empire province. Just say part of the HRE here. But it does not say emperor will ask for it back. So I can give it to the Serbs without them giving it back, I assume. Is it like not actually part of the empire? It does say it's part of the empire. I don't know why. I don't know why it wouldn't say unlawful territory. It's confusing, right? Does it need to be actual empire, original empire territory? Maybe. Hmm. Well, so if I were to do that and risk the wrath of Naples, I might save me some some issue with the annexation here. A little bit. Okay, let's do the actual math. You have Serbia, 113 development, and 113 development costs us 669 points. You say 113, so 669 divided by 113, it's 5.9, yeah, it's very close to 6, <laughs> one might say. 
uh, points per development. So then I give you seven extra. That's an extra 41.44 points. Oh, I failed my head math quite badly earlier. I think I said six by six is 24, <laughs> which it's not. Um, oops. Anyway, 41 points. And let's double check. The difference here is five and 172. So it's 176 points. And you are missing 70 points. So 106 points is what we would have. Could do it the other way around, math, right? So if I divide this by seven, would I say 106 points? 176, which is probably incorrect. It's 177. Wow, math is not. Well, that's never been a strength. Um, plus five is 400, 177. Yes, minus 70 is 107. And at 5.9 points per development, we can then divide 100 and 100, 107. And tie for the life of me today. 100. Why does this not work? 107. There we go. Divided by that 5. Point something number, 5.92, is 18.07. So we could give them 18 development and then have it almost perfectly timed. Assuming this math is linear. Can I give you 18 development or something close to it in a good way? Mm, not development, trade goods. What is Bosnia? I mean, that's 13 development. That's pretty tempting. Uh, you, go and take Podringer for me. And then we'll have a look at that kind of piece deal. We'll still have to deal with the fact that Khorasan will be done first, but we might be able to get Serbia and Iraq onto a s very, very close to the same timing. That would be nice. Yeah, Conquest is lost. It's all right, you folks are meeting up. It's good. Palatinate wants in. Oh, that's peace deal. Uh, no. Military access from Verden. Verden, sure. Get in there, give me, give me Podrinje. Not Breisgau, I'll take Breisgau, whatever I want is Podrinje. Let's scare these folks. Oh, they can't run? Well, that's, there's really no need for me to take that battle. Let's not do that. Let's not take the attrition. Are you mercs? No, let's not take the attrition. We don't need the loss of manpower there. We can already peace out easily, especially since Forts keep on falling. Mm, let's have you already go someplace. What place though? I guess over here. So we can start suppressing the newly conquered land. Trier canceled their military access. That's whatever. Very whatever. Come on, take, there we go. I needed that so I can swap this over to, ah! No, I cannot. <laughs> I must be able to take it and then give it to Serbia. When at peace. But because I uh, made them, I target Scootage here, I couldn't actually give them the land. And war, because they're not part of the war. Okay. What would this PC look like then, aggressive expansion wise? We would care about Naples and what? City doesn't matter. Mamluks don't matter. I think it's really just Naples. Which is a thing, for sure. But. This does seem worth risking. Even if it looks 
Borogorius Fudge. I could not take Veraz and Angram. That's the other option, right? Or at least not Veraz. Yeah, I don't need to take Veraz at all. Now we're looking at okay numbers here. Yeah, we do this. Plus some war reps or whatever. And then we just hand Serbia these places and see what it does to the... Can even do it one by one and see what it does to the annexation timer. That seems good. And they would have enough time to... Say goodbye. Uh, to core it, maybe. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> well, this will be delayed, right? Let's see. It, let's say it's December 40. Then yes, they will. Okay, good. Lot, lots of thinking, way over time in my um, on my episode once again, but huh? <laughs> we don't need humiliation here. Let's take war reps. And I could take the trade power of Ulm. I'm not very interested in taking Ulm's trade power, but I could. How much is this? It's 20. But you were already not willing to give me 20. Because there's a tiny bit of over war score there then. Mm, let's just take Dosh. Again, longer peace deals because of coalitions. Seems fine. Nobody cares. I get what I want. I give this to Serbia. And everybody's happy. Plan? I think it's a plan. Get y'all out. Now, I want to core you, you, and you. I want to give Podrinje to the Serbs. See what it does here. 669. And now I grant you Podrinje. See if my math was somewhat correct. This there. So to six eight seven. Then August thirty nine as opposed to. I definitely can give you more. I think it was somewhat correct, right? It's what six six seven before. Six six nine, and now I have six eight seven. Six six nine six eight seven. So that's only eighteen points. My math must have been horribly off, huh? Maybe that's like a baseline. Six six nine. This is eighteen more points in cost, and I just gave them seven development, which I thought would be seven times six. Point two. Hmm. Odd. Well, have Bosnia as well. But if this is the case, I could have given them even more. 707. You know, we still have a hundred to do here and a... This change? Well, that must have been time passing, right? Uh, 175 here. So we still have to scoot to chocolate the Serbs. Unless we go to another war, but that seems unlikely. And sure, I could give them some of the land I've already cored, or in my trade companies, but that doesn't make any sense. So I will not do it. I am smart enough to understand that doing things that don't make any sense is not always the right choice. There. But we have to put a cap in here. Thank you folks so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you have anything at all to say to me, then do it down there in that comment section. Thank you for watching. See you folks next time.